Hi, I'm Warren. Thanks for watching Toy Fishing. Right, let's take a look at our second tool in the Toy Fishing tool range. Join me as we take an in-depth review into our very own short nose pliers. Check out these bad boys. Right, product breakdown. Let's take a look. Manufactured from 410 J1 stainless steel, this is a high-grade Japanese stainless steel. This spec of stainless steel provides a greater hardness and strength and is corrosion resistant. The base pliers is made from a drop forging. The jaws have serrated teeth on both the upper and the lower jaws. There is an internal spring within the pivot point, also known as the fulcrum, which allows for optimal repeat functionality. Ergonomic handle design where the shape of the handle follows your inner hand profile. We've unpacked this ergonomic grip in our side cutters video, so take a look right here. Full metal construction, again allowing for less plastic and rubber handles filling up landfill sites around the globe. We've also tried to recapture this old wrought iron blacksmith look and feel from years gone by. The holes in the handle serve two purposes. Firstly, improving the grip along with the slots and secondly, hook support and rig support for tying a knot. Holding a fishing hook while cinching up your preferred knot is really, really important. This provides a safer alternative than using your hands. And finally, the PVD till and coating or physical vapor deposition mainly provides an attractive surface finish to the product but also improves the marine protection and wear resistance. The approximate dimensions are 158mm by 48mm by 17mm. Right, so why choose a toy short nose pliers? If you're tired of seeing 10 tools in one component, then toy tooling may be just for you. Creating a bespoke de-hooking tool for fishing is challenging. As always, we've opted to include a single usage for the tool to remove fishing hooks. We wanted to prevent as much as possible the jaws twisting or losing shape over prolonged periods of time. Also, by shortening the length of the jaws to the fulcrum point, we were able to increase the clamping pressure applied to an object, in our case, a fishing hook. You will also find on most hand tools, the cutting end or the grip detail is literally on top of your hands. We've increased this slightly so that the handle lengths can be slightly longer, but the working ends are short and rigid. So if you compare our pliers to a normal long nose pliers, you will actually notice it's almost the same length. It provides you with a little more room to work, but in the same breath, allowing for deep hook removals. This tool will be perfectly suited to removing hooks from smaller fish species, such as bass, bluefish, and redfish, more smaller redfish than And don't forget the tip with the holes, perfectly suited for putting your rig, or your lure, or your hook, or your preferred terminal knot under load when cinching those knots. Along with our toy tether and toy sheath, you will have the perfect combination for removing hooks and tightening those fishing knots. As with all our tools, corrosion resistance is important and we've three areas to aid with this on every tool. The base material is a good quality stainless steel and the titanium aluminium nitride PVD coating offers high resistance to oxidation also. And finally, the highly polished surface area offers good corrosion resistance. Thanks for taking the time to watch our review. Follow our links below to our website in the description to find out where these items can be purchased from. Stay tight and stay toy. See you man. As always, we've opted to include a single usage for the tool to grip and remove hooks. Well, that's two, isn't it? <laughs>